Now, in hypothyroidism, what happens to the TSH levels? Increase. Increase. TSH increase. What the problem is, is that the thyroid gland, the thyroid gland is not producing enough T3 and T4. Okay. So T4, it will be low. This causes a negative feedback causing TSH to rise. The opposite happens. And TSH levels will be high. T4 levels will be low. What about the T3 levels? Low. Low, yes, but that answer is not there. No. Normal. No, no. Okay, remember that. T4 levels may be low or high. In hypothyroidism, T4 levels will be high. In hypothyroidism, T4 levels will be low. But T3 levels can be normal. Okay, that fact needs to be understood. Is there any explanation for that? Yeah, because uh, T3 is peripherally converted. Like uh, what is released into the blood has a short half-life. The main, main product is found inside cells, like at the peripheral location where it's acting. So that's why T3 levels can be normal. Or it depends on, in hypothyroidism, it can be normal or it could be low, but normal is an option. Okay. Now let's go through this case. We'll talk about how to identify these things because that's the main purpose. The patient is a young woman who comes with excessive weight gain. She has been feeling tired and has had frequent constipation. Okay. She takes no medication and she has no prior medical problems. BMI is really high. So physical examination shows a non-tender thyroid. What does this tell you? If it was a tender thyroid, tender, painful thyroid, what is the diagnosis? Thyroiditis. Thyroiditis. Which, what's the name? Uh, like this. Uh... Hashimoto's. Sorry? Uh, it's decurvance. If they have the words tender, painful, if the thyroid gland is painful, if they complain of pain, then it's decurvane. The other one is rock hard with nodules. What is this diagnosis? Uh, what do you think uh, a rock hard thyroid with nodules is indicative of? There's another one. It's called Riedel's thyroiditis. Okay, these are the different types. Now, the other symptoms of hypothyroidism are there are delayed relaxation of deep tendon reflexes. And also her hair and skin appear dry. Okay. These are all symptoms of hypothyroidism, especially this one. Okay. And also this one. Relaxation of deep tendon reflexes. I'm not going to talk about this for this question. There's another question in which I will go into detail about that. Okay. Uh, try question number two.
I'll put up the poll, just try answer. Input your answer because then I know if you guys are correct or not. 